Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helene Honey. If it's your first time here, welcome. So I'm going to share with you guys 10 signs that you should let them go. <sighs> That's right. Yes. I know it's sad. I know it's not right. Right. It's not right, but it's okay. Okay. Like Whitney Houston said, it's not right, but it's okay. I feel like it's important to make this video, you guys, because on this channel, I love to be open, raw, honest with you guys. And I love to share positive energy with y'all and, you know, uplift you as much as I can and talk about love. But the reality is, is that sometimes we got to go or sometimes you just deserve better. So I want us to remember our worth and know you have to know what you want. If you don't know what you want, somebody is just going to give you just anything. And that's not what you deserve. So first, discover your worth within. Build up your self-love and your self-esteem so that there's certain things we do not have to tolerate. Even if you have feelings for somebody, you love somebody, but sometimes it's time to go. If they can't act right, it's time to go. So what are 10 signs that you should let somebody go? What's the first sign? The first sign is they ignore you. They ignore you. And this is a sign that you should just let somebody go if they want to ignore you then you should ignore them and just let them be and sometimes people are playing some weird mind games they've been watching them toxic videos oh ignore the girl you like blah 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 like it's a sign of immaturity and so if they are ignoring you you should ignore them and just free yourself and let them go this it could even be when you're in a relationship. Let's say something bothers you, you talk to them about it, but they ignore you. They're doing it anyway. They don't care what you have to say. And so that's fine. But a relationship takes two. And so if they're not pulling their weight, if they're not doing their part, they're not playing their part, then you don't need to be the only one putting in effort and it's time to let them let let it go. You should let them go. If they're ignoring how you feel if they're ignoring you you text them they don't respond what's going on like if it's a pattern i'm not talking about they ignore you one time you break up i'm talking about like if they have a pattern of any of the things i'm saying it's a sign you should probably just let them go or at least keep your options open because they probably don't deserve you what's the second sign the second sign that you should probably let them go is that they disrespect you so this looks like talking down to you, calling out of your calling you out of your name, doing things to disrespect you either in public or in private. Especially if they put their hands on you, if they try to make you feel bad on purpose like insult you, disrespect you. <laughs> disrespect the relationship. Flirting with other girls in your face and if you feel disrespected on a constant basis, they don't really care about you too deep and you should let them go okay what's that golden rule treat others how you want to be treated so what happens if you disrespect them they're not going to like it right so you shouldn't let people disrespect you and that's why this is about our own self and what we're willing to tolerate and accept ladies i wanted to make this for us because we're so in the heart space right and love is powerful and Yes, it can conquer all, and yes, you can get through anything and all those beautiful things, but there's limits, boundaries, and if somebody else is disrespecting you, that's a sign. You should probably let them go, <laughs> okay? Because how are you going to be trying to give it your all and love somebody if they don't love you? Point blank, period. Okay, so, oh, the third sign that you should let somebody go is that they treat you like you're replaceable. They treat you like you're replaceable. They're trying to just treat you like you're ordinary. And oh, well, they could just get another one of you real quick. Then let them do that. Let them go out there and try. Because I'm here to tell you and remind you that you're rare. You're unique. There's only one of you. You're one of one. So if they want to treat you like you're just ordinary, then they don't see your magic. They don't see your fire. They don't see your brilliance, your excellence, your beauty. They're not understanding your rarity and then they don't deserve you if that's the case they're treating you like they could just replace you like it's not a big deal they don't care if they lose you let them lose you let them find out let them find out and it's a sign you should let them go because it just means that they don't value you okay so you deserve to be cherished you deserve to be treated well not just fair but well treated 
great, amazing, you know, and then in return, you can treat that the your partner that way but they don't get special treatment and they're treating you like you're ordinary it doesn't work like that it's a sign just cut them loose you deserve better okay so what's the next sign you should let them go they lie to you if they lie to you you catch them in a lie strike what <laughs> okay they lie they want to lie to you again strike two three strikes you're out like if they're constantly lying to you or you're catching them in lies or you have a gut feeling that they're lying to you, then it's a sign you should let them go because it means that they don't trust you. They don't value the relationship. And again, they don't like care if you if they lose you, because if somebody is lying to you, that just means that they are selfish and they care more about themselves than you. They're choosing to lie to you because they don't respect you. So it's a sign of disrespect. If they're lying to you, maybe you should let them go. The fifth sign that you should let somebody go is that they do not put effort in the relationship. They're not putting in any effort towards you. And you're going to know this through their actions. <sighs> effort to see you. Effort to be with you. Effort to take you out to treat you. And this is how they show they care for you. And if they're not doing this, if they're not making any effort to be there, then it's a sign you should probably move on, let them go, because you deserve someone to physically be there with you, be available to you emotionally, and take you out and treat you well. Have you, Because see, when two people are together, they should be proving to you why you should why you're with them versus all the other billions of people on earth right so you're not obligated to be with them they're not obligated to be with you and so you're choosing one another but if they're not showing any effort then you should probably let them go because that means they just don't really care and so i feel like sometimes when a guy really likes you, he might show a lot of effort in the beginning, but after time, if it starts to dwindle, he might be showing that effort to somebody else. Like, I'm just keeping it real. And so it's not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of what's in his, inside his own heart. So we don't have to beg nobody to do right by us. We don't have to wait around for somebody to act right. Like, cut them loose and free yourself. And a lot of times the universe puts these situations in our life because it's teaching us about our own self and how to love ourselves and choose ourselves. Because ladies, women have been taught if we care about ourselves, then we're selfish or we're a bitch, but that's not true. You have to love yourself. You cannot put other people before you your whole life because then that's how people step on you, trample over you, disrespect you. You don't deserve that and so... People mistake empathy and compassion and love for weakness, but look inside their heart. They're going to show you through their actions what is inside of their heart, and if they're not valuing you, it's a sign to just let them go. Bye, because somebody who should be, somebody who you allow into your heart, into your space, into your body, into your energy, in, into you, into your life, they got to earn their spot, and they got to keep their spot or else just free yourself, right? Just walk away. I know it can be tough and sad, but these are signs signs that you should let them go. Where would you? Okay. What's the next sign? What is the next sign that you should probably let them go? They take you for granted. Sometimes people can, they don't realize that you're giving them privileges to your energy access to you and that is not you're not you don't have to do that that's a gift to them and so if they're taking you for granted then it's a sign you should let them go they gotta handle you with care if they are miss if they are mishandling you your time your energy your possessions everything and it's a sign that they're taking you for granted they just feel like they're entitled to have you in their life but they're not though but they're not so it's a sign that if you feel taken for granted and let's say you've talked to them about it 
and you've been working with them to change but they don't want to change just let them go okay so sign number seven that you should let somebody go is that they use you yeah they they are using you that's a sign you gotta let them go and this can look like them using your energy using your emotions they just want my love and my energy because it's valuable but they're using you like they're not giving back to you they're just taking from you so if somebody is just taking from you but they're not giving to you then it's a huge red flag and it's a sign you should let them go and it can be tricky so these are things that maybe you want to just journal about write about but it's important to be honest with your own self on how you feel because your soul is within your intuition and you know, maybe just if you've been thinking about should I walk away from this person, you you owe it to yourself to think deeper on it and honor how you feel. Sometimes you just need to separate from somebody for a while to see how you really feel. But let your like be honest with your own feelings and honor how you feel. Do what is best for you. And that's why I wanted to make this because as women, we can be so compassionate, empathetic and want to see the best in everyone especially someone you love or care for you want it to work when you're in love but are you in love like are they do they love you in return that's why i just made that video five signs he truly loves you sometimes we love someone but the love is not mutual they're not doing their part and that's not fair to you and so it's a sign you should let them go it's a sign you should let them go and you'll be surprised how the universe will reward you when you do the right thing that's in alignment with integrity and you're honoring yourself because life is a reflection of what's within so when you start to honor yourself and stay true to yourself and you're embodying love for self okay now you can attract something better into your life but if you're just settling for the bare minimum or you're settling for someone who's not treating you well then it's like you're only going to get what you allow yourself to receive. And that's why we need standards. We need boundaries. Like if somebody doesn't want to act right, then you should release them out of your life because it's showing yourself respect. It's showing yourself love because people always say, oh, but I love them. Okay, but do you love you? Okay, what's the A sign that you should let them go? They want to play the victim. They want to play the victim and this happens all the time you guys somebody could be a grown man or a grown woman but they want to play the victim everything is your fault and manipulators are very good at turning something they did wrong into your fault they were in the wrong but now all of a sudden it's your fault now all of a sudden you are you're apologizing to them but you didn't even do anything they did it but they want to play the victim so they'll turn it around they'll spin it around it's called gaslighting making you doubt your own sanity <laughs> making you fogging up what really happened oh it didn't happen like that oh you misunderstood me like nah but if they can never take accountability if they can never say they're wrong and change their behavior <laughs> okay behavior <laughs> behavior Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, if they are always the victim, it's just a sign that they're emotionally immature. They not, and it's not going to be healthy for you. It's not going to be he healthy for your mental health, your emotional health to always be carrying that guilt and confusion. No, baby. We need clarity. We need honesty. <laughs> we need integrity. We need some act right come on now and so you're not perfect they're not perfect if they always want to play the victim and i've been through this oh my gosh always want to play the victim then just gotta go let them go <laughs> oh my god all right so what's the ninth sign that you should just let them go they're in their player energy okay they're in that what's it called knight of swords knight so it's like to me i associate it with like teenager vibes like when you first start you know hooking up with people and you're just all excited you can't control yourself and you just in your lust like it's real childish and so if they want to be in their player energy if they start cheating on you or even <laughs> ugh, 
then run girl run sis nah because here's the thing it's a sign you should let them go okay they're not ready to be committed and it's gonna hurt you and it can either hurt you now when you face it or later on but not to say nobody can't change but if somebody changes it's because they want to change like they got to make the decision on their own to be a better person if that's what they consider a better person and maybe they don't maybe they want to do whatever they want to do maybe they want to do it with whoever whenever wherever and that's their choice but it's a sign you should let them go please do not be like some of these women out here who have been watching sister wives and they must have missed the episodes when they're trying to run away okay because that's a whole cult like don't confuse yourself to think oh i can handle it because i'm I, that used to be me when i was younger like when i was way younger i used to think well i can control my emotions like it's not like he's my husband like he's doing his own thing i'm gonna do my own thing and we just like each other whatever no like all of that is confusion it's confusion and it's not gonna turn out well for anybody involved okay man was made for woman one and one you have there's one hole and one thing that goes in that hole and neither person wants the other one to be with anybody else period dot don't let them confuse you manipulate you and tell you it's cool if they have all these girlfriends and you got all these boyfriends like it's not people's feelings get hurt because that's not how it was meant to be and so if they want to be in player energy, let them, but save yourself and your heart and have some dignity and respect and to take three steps back. So what is, oh, my God. what's the last sign? The last sign you should let somebody go is to start messing with your peace of mind. They're messing with your energy. Once they start messing with your energy, you got to go because again, it comes back to self-worth. Let's say you're having a wonderful, peaceful, amazing day prosperous day abundant day productive day <laughs> your day is going well you're feeling good inside okay if they come and here they come and they're messing up your day like once they start messing with your your inner peace it's a sign you should let them go because everything is connected and so your inside of how you're feeling your intuition is it's speaking to you it's alive it's real it's the divine and it's not about like attacking anybody else or trying to force them to be different or force them to treat you a certain way or for them to get their own energy right like we're not here to do that you're here to have a say over your own self and let others do that for themselves as well you're not nobody's mama parent none of that like let them be themselves all the way and either you guys are on the same wave in alignment or you're not but you'll be able to tell by the energy which is like how it feels to you what do they do to your mood do you feel how do you feel when you think of them because when it's the right relationship for you you feel excited you feel grateful you feel in love and like happy <laughs> your happiness matters not to say it will always be like that but the majority of time it will and so once that starts to tank once that starts to like they making you cry and they they effing up your day making you sad and depressed and you start to feel low down about yourself and the situation you're in it's a sign it's the universe screaming to you let them go let them figure things out on their own and if it's meant to be you'll come together and if it's not then you won't but it's not the end of the world though okay and so you matter know your worth take care of yourself okay and i hope this video helped you in some way it's helping me as i talk about it <laughs> i'm sending you so much love and power and healing on your journey take care of yourself and i'll see you in my next video bye